the banks are too big and powerful. Size matters not. Look at me. Look at me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an interview with uh, a good buddy of mine and uh, a new friend of mine, Ivan, um, and my buddy uh, Opa, Opa Kinkle, uh, Omateo, and Ivan yeah. Leon. They're from uh, Bitcore. Um, yeah. Opa, Opa reached out to me and asked me to uh, take a look at this project that he's working on. Um, I thought it looked really interesting, plus he's my buddy, so of course I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an interview for him. Um, welcome you guys. It's nice to, yeah. nice to be here. Thank you oh, thank for you having for us. Uh, before we could get into it a little bit, uh, Opa, you've been in the space for a while. We've worked together on different projects. Um, yeah. Smart guy. Very, very smart guy. <laughs> good guy. Ivan, could you let me know a little bit, uh, how did you first get into the uh, to the space, into cryptocurrency and, and blockchain? Sure. Well, my, my mentor in cryptocurrencies is my little brother. He started as a designer for different blockchain projects. I, I am a veterinarian, so my, my background is not technical, it's not about computers. Uh, but I start as a creative writer in Steemit, a hmm. platform, a blockchain uh, platform. I was writing posts and articles about cryptocurrencies, and suddenly something happened, and uh, a uh, project discovered me. They liked what I did, and they they hired me as a uh, in his marketing team. After that, cryptocurrency start from a hobby to an extra income to my only income. I have been maybe 14, 14 months on only with crypto earnings incoming. Now I love it. And uh me too. <laughs> and happy birthday, by the way. It's Ivan's birthday today. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you're the uh, the head marketing. Um, you're the ambassador for uh, for Bitcore for Venezuela, and Opa, you're uh, the head ambassador for Africa. So I yeah. kind of wanted to when I hit different points, I would to to get to you guys. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Bitcore and BTX and what the aims are? Um, a little bit about it. Yes, yeah, sure. Bitcoin and, and BTX is um, improvement of Bitcoin. The the community, the creators, they look for to to improve uh, speed in transactions, low fees. Um, they we want people use BTX Bitcoin for uh, daily use, daily transactions uh, for people. Uh, also, Bitcoin has a very very, I don't know how to call it, rational vision for it. We want everyone get involved and everybody use it for our, our own good. Uh, in my case, in Venezuela, I have been working with them maybe one year, teaching people, uh, even it's in, in, a, in, a, in a strange way, Bitcoin allows me to work with another platforms to make an, an educational program. You know, in crypto, some, some platforms are only for themselves. No? This is my, my platform, this is my coin, I don't want anyone else in the in meetings, I don't want anyone in the conference, but this time is different. We work together, maybe in my case, here in Venezuela, my seminar has six sponsors, and we all have the same goal. We want non-crypto users to learn about cryptocurrencies and we are we're not uh, inclusive we're not exclusive we don't we want everyone choose their 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 own platform and it's very interesting because not all platforms things like that yeah i mean it's really cool to talk to you because i've to talk to someone in venezuela that's there um, I think that, I mean, everything that's going on with your country, it's, I know it's pretty rough, but I think cryptocurrency is a, a huge lifeline for, you know, the high inflation, um, with, with the, it's, 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 it's really bad. Um, I think adoption in there, and especially in Africa, I'm very, very interested in Africa. I'm very, 
I think I think Africa will be one of the and, and South America will be one of the huge pushes for adoption because that's where it's really needed the most when it comes to the unbanked when it comes to the the instability of a lot of the currencies um, it's really corruption. really yeah and corruption with just blockchain blockchain in general for the corruption side and when it comes to you know land rights and so many other things but just the currencies in those areas they're so unstable you know and the inflation is so high um, I think that's going to really push adoption. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, about adoption, uh, what's the uh, what a uh, what is the adoption like in Africa, Opa? If you could tell me about that for Bitcoin. Yeah, um, I shall. Okay, once again, uh, just it's um, it's an opportunity again just for us to discuss a great project which is on Bitcoin. Um, talking about the adoption in Africa, um, I, I I started with Bitcoin. Um, let me say two months now, and then um, it has been very great. We have a community that is growing. Um, we have a community, the Telegram community is close to like 800 members. And then um, just recently, we opened um, our Twitter community also, which is close to like um, 250 members, so to say. But talking about the adoption of Bitcoin in Africa, as you know, Bitcoin um, as a project is, um, is a project that is... Um, the transaction um, process is very, very super fast. It's faster than Bitcoin. In fact, we have a chart that we compare um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Gold. So the adoption in Africa, I, I can say that um, it's starting a bit slowly, but um, I can tell you, Sean, we are going to get there because um, we have been talking with a lot of Af African exchange, um, local African cryptocurrency exchange um, to integrate um, Bitcoin into their platform. And also we've been talking with some um, Merchants um, just to um, pull in Bitcoin to their platform. You know, as you know, um, right now in Nigeria, a lot of crypto enthusiasts are really interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And then um, it's an also it's an opportunity for us to also showcase a project such as uh, Bitcoin to um, our fellow uh, my fellow African brothers, just to see um, what Bitcoin is all about. And then I, I, I want to make a um, clarification here. A lot of guys have um, asked me this question: that, uh, oh, Opa, is, is Bitcoin a fork of um, Bitcoin? I just want to tell you guys that um, Bitcoin is not a fork of Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is um, or was developed from a scratch. Uh, as you know, well, all other cryptocurrencies are the open source, open source, and then um, they have this kind of a linkage with Bitcoin. But um, we are entirely different from um, the fork of Bitcoin. It's a project that is built from the scratch, from the genesis, and then um, has a lot of um, infrastructure far more better than Bitcoin. I, I'm not saying that um, 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 we are here to compete with um, other cryptos, but we are just here to make the, um, the, 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 the crypto space more, more, more adoptable, especially to the mainstream, uh, to the mainstream rather. So, Africa, we are getting there, yeah. Okay, and Ivan, what about you? What's the, uh, the adoption uh, been like? You talked about that you're doing a lot of education there in Venezuela. What's it been like there? Well, first, first of all, uh, I think you, you guys, you have to understand our situation here in Venezuela. People uh, all talk, uh, knows about inflation here, but how big is it? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Last year, uh, um, like what? Um, a Coke, really? A, a, co a bottle of a Coke it cost about um, 10,000 bees, right? The same Coke, one year later, cost 100 million bees. That's, that's the rate of our inflation here. Yeah. I was reading yesterday, uh, it's uh, maybe 10. 10 million percent inflation in this year only. That's one fact. We can escape. And another uh, problem here is um, it, the corruption. Corruption is huge, huge in every level. And another great, great problem here is um, the banking system. It's, wow. um, it's very, it's very um, greedy and they, they don't let people to use their money as they, they, they want. For example, if I want to 
make a ba a tra van transfer transfer on Friday uh, afternoon. The people receive it the money Monday afternoon. So three days, my money is in the bank, and it's not mine already, and it's not the the people I'm paying to either. So it's it's a lot of details here. Well, I just said. Where maybe and I said that in my in our seminars is um, in maybe in other countries there's a lot of payment methods or alternatives or options, uh, but here in, in Latin America, especially in Venezuela, maybe the only option we have to own and manage our, our money is cryptocurrencies. There's no way out. Um, adoption. The adoption here is really fast but it's stopped by education a lot of people see cryptocurrencies as an elite uh, something very technical so like something i is not for me is maybe for a little a little a small group of people or a group of power when i when i did and it's working is i used alliances with the uh, in, in companies like pdvsa the old company here and i offered them in the uh, to take our education about cryptocurrencies for communities because PDVSA is all over the country. They like the idea because inside the company there's still a lot of honest people and a lot of people looking for a uh, not corrupt, not a corruptible state. And they are helping me. We are taking education to institutions, ministers, uh, private and government companies, uh, universities, uh, schools communities. I've been in the big cities and in a place like this, this is Pedesa La Estancia in Caracas. They helped to, to take seminars here. I've been in little towns, maybe with five to ten people that never heard of Bitcoin or uh, cryptocurrencies and now they want to learn more. I've been, in my tracking numbers, I've been 170 people have been in, my, in our seminar last year. And 99% never heard or used mm -hmm. cryptocurrencies. So, so I think this is a big impact in the, in the yeah. community. And for another, on the other hand, um, I'm helping companies like PDVSA to integrate cryptocurrencies as, as payment. Mm -hmm. um, we have found two things. One, there's a lot mm -hmm. of small own businesses inside, you know, business mm -hmm. that you have to pay for something in there. So they, these people don't, don't want us inside uh, PDVSA. But I found, uh, I found too, a lot of people looking for clean up these small businesses there. And they're helping us there. Uh, I think when PDVSA and another big company and working uh, right now, integrate uh, cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies i'm not talking about petro that's a, a it's another huge big mess here um but uh, and uh, cryptocurrencies as bitcoin litecoin dash uh, bitcore it's uh, uh, overall uh, uh, i like it a lot of bitcore because of its features for that i think this is going to impact a lot in, the, uh, in our local um, economy because when people see, I'm learning blockchain, I'm learning how to use cryptocurrencies, and PDVSA, or another big company is using it too, that's going to push the adoption a lot, lot more than now. Yeah, like I, I the, the inflation is crazy. I mean, a million percent per month in yeah. some cases. But one of the things about Caracas I think is so uh, interesting, it seems like there's almost... It's like different worlds in the city. I mean, you have like certain sections that are, you don't even see a lot of the problems. You know, it's more more wealthier sections. And then there's the sections like it's one of the biggest slums in all of South America, you know, and it's all in the same area. It's just, it's mind boggling. But it, 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 sorry, uh, uh, I interrupted you. But it's not songs. Like this morning, I, I'm here in a huge hotel, a nice hotel. And when I came came out this morning to come here, the, in the same sidewalk, two guys, maybe 18, 19, were eating trash mm -hmm. from the hotel. 
Yeah. So it's not areas, it's everywhere. We have two countries, oh. maybe in one, and it's very weird. Yeah, you can work at McDonald's and not be able to afford to eat there. <laughs> yeah. you know, for, yes. For the whole, I mean, because uh, like you said, the prices have went up so much, but the income really hasn't changed that much. And a lot of sad stories I've heard that, you know, there's someone who's like worked 40 years of their life and they saved in those banks for their whole life. And they saved up a good amount. Like they had $100,000 two years ago. They're ready to retire. And that $100,000 is worth like 500 bucks now. There's no way, yeah. you know, they've yeah. lost all that. Um, but I think it's also just a, an example of how ineffective governments are. I mean, it's it's crazy to, to the things that I've seen, like the, the trains and subways, they're just a, they're basically free because there's they don't, the government can't afford to pay people at the ticket booths. Um, the gas stations, if there's gas, you just kind of pay whatever you can to the people that are that are running the gas stations. It's not a, it's 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 almost like almost po post apocalyptic, um, because the government really has kind of failed. That's why I really think it's a the people are hungry and and really need the cryptocurrency, you know. So I think that adoption would be a a lot easier there to, to get because people want they they need something. Um, all right, let me. Uh, da, da, da. What makes Bitcoin distinct or different? If you can go over that for me. Me. Or Opa. Either one of y'all. Uh, let, let, let's hear Opa. <laughs> okay, uh, Sean, I, I don't get that. Please, can you just um, recap, please? What makes Bitcoin uh, distinct or different? Yeah. Um, like I said earlier on that um, 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 we are proud to say that our transaction uh, is superb and which is more faster than Bitcoin. And then also uh, Bitcoin is a community driven project. It's a community driven project that um, I'm proud to say that I'm with one of the best team I've seen in crypto for some time who are highly skilled and talented in driving a project aiming for adoption, most specifically. So just like normal cryptocurrencies that would um, go on for pump and dump, Bitcoin is not, is not for such. And our, like I said, and I'm going to reiterate, reiterate this once again, the confirmation speed in terms of um, Transacting on a blockchain is highly superb and it's highly very, very fast. And then, which is more faster than Bitcoin. It's more faster than Bitcoin, it's more faster than Bitcoin gold, it's more faster than um, Bitcoin cash. So, these features had um, made um, Bitcoin highly distinctive and different from all other um, cryptocurrency in the globe, uh, in the space rather. Uh, you, you, may, you may want to say that. Um, um, Bitcoin is a bit um, ranked um, lower in coin market cap because I have a lot of friends that would ask me such a question. Oh, Opa, now you are promoting a very good project. You see this project is good. Some merchants are using the um, crypto, which is Bitcoin. But we see that it's, it's, it's not ranked high in coin market cap. Yeah. Um, I, I want to believe, Sean, you're going to agree with me on this, that uh, majority of crypto projects are running on fake volumes. Avan, do you believe that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, here in Bitcoin, we are, we are not really in for the um, kind of hype of just let's pump it up and let's dump it down. No, 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 no. The major purpose why this coin is created is to make payments very smooth and easy. And that is what we are trying as much as possible to achieve. And if you could look at our website at this very moment, we're going to see that we are in collaboration with a lot of um, merchants, with a lot of platforms. And then um, the core team and some of the ambassadors are working very hard to ensure that this dream has, is, is, is going to come to pass. So um, that, has what has, that is what has really made us so distinctive and different from um, any other cryptocurrency. Yeah. Now you really you hit on the transaction speed and all that. Um, I had a, a question on the security of it. Uh, also, yeah. it's it's mineable. How how do you mine it? 
and what is the because you said it's community based what is the uh what is the network like yeah um you know um how do you mind bitcoin just like um um the normal um what do i call this um pow that's proof of work yeah you can just easily mine your bitcoin on the network using your cpu and um with me to um um with the process just like the way you mine your bitcoin you know when you mine bitcoin um you have to have a lot of electricity but bitcoin doesn't really require that so you just have to mine your bitcoin with your on your cpu and then it's you, you, you get your um, reward from 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 the process of mining, and the, the block rewards are every two minutes, aren't they? Instead of ten. Yeah. yeah. Say what? Uh, the block rewards they're paid out every is it every two minutes or instead of every ten? Every two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it seems like it's being integrated into different wallets. Can you tell me about that? Yes, I, I could add uh, what Opa said be, uh, in that feature because in the practical uh, use for Bitcoin, we need it in uh, different wallets, not only the, the uh, QR wallet, like every other coin. Uh, I have found BitX in a very, very nice wallet, especially mobile, mobile wallets like uh, Coinomi, like Magnum wallet, like Trust Wallet, yeah, it's very useful. In my case, I travel a lot, so I don't carry my 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 PC with me where the QR wallet is. But I use my phone with all these uh, the, all these wallets. Uh, also, I can I can say that Bitcoin has or has done has done has given another step in the payment processors and ATMs. Uh, I think in the adoption phase, we're living in the, all the blockchain crypto space. Uh, that's very important because yeah. people will want to, to buy or sell cryptocurrencies for fiat or to fiat easily. And merchants, they need an, something more than just a, a wallet. They need a, a compre comprehensive accountability system like um, Atomic Pay, we work with Atomic Pay, for example, to name one. And uh, our, our ATM is so developed, developed that so, he has, it has already uh, Bolivar Soberanos inside. We only have to bring the ATMs here. And we are very excited about it because it's going to push and give a real hype in real use, in real world for cryptocurrency, especially for Bitcoin. Okay. Yeah, and sorry to cut short, um, Sean, Sean, I think I need to say something here. Um, just like um, Avan said, um, Bitcoin is available in uh, an ATM. Um, it's another way of um, adopting Bitcoin in Africa also, because, um, you know, like he said, we all know that um, a lot of merchants, a lot of institutions don't really believe in cryptocurrency because um, they feel it's just like a money that is created from the tin head. Hope you agree with me on these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so they, they feel it is like a money that is created from the tin head. And then um, having Bitcoin in um, our ATM and bringing such into Africa, it's also going to go a long way in the adoption or from bridge call in Africa. Yeah. Okay. Now, as, as far as speed and security goes, what's your interdependence with the uh, the Lightning Network? Opa. Yeah. Yeah. You're the the guy. Um, with the Lightning Network, it talks it talks about the speed. You know, as you know that. Um, a lot of um, um, development going on in um, Bitcoin. Uh, sorry, in Bitcoin at this very moment, it talks about um, adopting the Lightning Network, making it as fast as the transactions of uh, Mastercard, Visa card, and all of such. Now, talking about Bitcoin, we are also proud to say that although I would say that our transaction speed is not as fast as Bitcoin, as, as, as fast as Mastercard, 
or Visa card. But we are also proud to say that when you make use of our platform, when you make use of our blockchain, the speed is super fast. You can easily get your, your, your payment confirmation in less than a few seconds. So this has also uh, this is also a very, very unique feature for us to say, okay, fine, we can, uh, merchants can easily adopt this for their payment process. Okay. Um, that is about all I have for you guys, unless you had anything else you wanted to go over. Yes, for me, uh, I want to tell uh, my um my African brothers who is going to be watching this you know, YouTube video um, right after this meeting, that um, um, the first and foremost is that um, cryptocurrency has come to stay. Blockchain is a wonderful technology. And then um, this is part of many projects that is going to revolutionize the world of payment. And then I want to also say that um, Bitcoin is also part of many projects that has got a highly dedicated team, which is highly hardworking, and which is striving each day to bring the adoption of cryptocurrency to the mainstream industry. Just, just a quick, um, a quick gist for you guys. You could imagine I received some money, um, fiat from, from somewhere in China, and it took like it took me like um, um, seven days before I could get my fiat in my bank account. But when we talk about cryptocurrency, we know that it's a borderless payment. I can send you Bitcoin, I can send you crypto, and in less than a few seconds, you get it in your wallet and you exchange it to fiat. So this is what we are striving at. This is what we are working at. And I want to employ my African guys from Ghana, from, from, from Senegal to Cameroon. Bitcoin should be embraced and we should all work towards building this great project and achieving the purpose, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Well, it was uh, it was good talking to you, Opa. Um, yeah. Opa, I can get to Lego sometime and hang out. Uh, it was nice, <laughs> been nice meeting you, Ivan. Um, nice. Like, the, well, uh, I'll get this put up. I'll put the links uh, for everyone uh, to the website in the description. Um, check out Bitcore. Thanks. Please crush that like button, hit the subscribe button yeah. if it's your first time here, and the bell for notifications. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Thank yeah, you. Thank Sam. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.